Everybody must love horses today. They say that a dog is a man's best friend. Yes, but the horse wrote history. And a very apt quote, as we celebrate Horse Protection Day, it came about back in 2005 to cast an eye on the plight of horses, many working horses here in South Africa. So we thought to commemorate the very important day, we would hook up with two charities that are doing incredible work, not only for the horses, but the communities that they live in. Take a look at this. With the domestication of horses in around 3,500 BC, these animals were traditionally used for hunting and as a means of transport. These days, horses can still play an active working role. My parents' name is Trigger, and we work in the industry industry for 10 years. What I do is I drive around in areas and ask people if there's nothing in the Wasmachine, fridges, of in a metal, what the art veel maak, wat hulle wil weggereë. En as mense het, sal hulle vir ons gee. En daar vanaan af, collect ons maar tot ons a wijnkie vol is. Horse carts can be found across Africa, a service industry which involves hard work for both horse and owner, making support structures essential. We are a non-profit organization. Um, we deliver services exclusively to the working cart horses that works to provide a living for the families. We look after quite a few horses, around about 300 horses. We provide a veterinary service, inspectorate service, policing. We have our farrier services, cart workshops, harness workshop, and then also we have the rehabilitation centre in Gordons Bay. Cart horses help us with cost for us, schooner for us, blacksmiths what the schooner for us gereeld check and answer, and as our pair is sick, we can call us to the bell and inspect the hyena is always available. And to help us more to help the license card, what the car is for our pair and for us to give a permit for the car and to prove us that we can use the car. From the sound of hooves on Cape Town streets to horse manes blowing in the West Coast wind, the Dussenberg Horse Rescue Center houses animals that wouldn't otherwise be alive. I have lived with horses all my life. I was born on horseback, as my mother told me, and my passion is horses. Originally, I was uh, planning on retiring and breeding good quality crossbreed horses until I saw the horses dying up on the hillside outside of Marmaray and decided that rescuing of horses was probably the best thing. All my rescue horses have come from various areas, originally from Atlantis, Pella and Marmaray. Now it goes as far as Picketburg. We've gone as far as Riversdale. It depends on who needs the help with their animals. Public awareness is key. As Albert Einstein said, the world is a dangerous place, not because of those who do evil, but because of those who look on and do nothing. I will not for the public say that all of them are a bit of a and if we are to stop as a pair, to be busy with the other people, because I can be happy and safe, and in your motor, maybe hard to stop. Our hopes for the future is that if you refer to the cart horses, they're not going to work to generate the income for the, for the families anymore. Our hope is that each family will have a job, that when the horse is put into a harness and a cart, it will be for the pleasure of having a horse, not for the horse to go out to work. My greatest hope of the future is that all animals are declared sentient beings. If we can do that, we will have a wonderful country to live in.